last night we had our impromptu uh, party on Skype with, you know, just a bunch of friends and watching sort of live, you know, just hanging out on Skype and then also watching a bunch of different live streams, switching to whichever live stream had the best action. And we've been watching Boss and Masri for like several hours. <laughs> uh, all of us. I, I mean, I know Kimmy was watching. Uh, I was watching. McNabb was watching. I mean, Ghoul's watching it. You weren't because you have a family. I was uh, asleep. But, but <laughs> I was tired. We were, so we were all like switching around and, and we were watching what Boston Mazri. I remember you? like, all right, so for anyone that d- doesn't know or wasn't listening, wasn't watching these live streams, this guy's like a ba- He's a kebab, of course. He's like sort of a swivel presenting kebab. But he was talking in this so obviously try hard. So he's like, like a. He's yo, like the, with the streets, yo. He's, he like a, he, he's like a real life Ali G. Pretty much, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but but I mean, he was, yeah, he's a real life allergy, but sort of in an American context. All oh, right, and, and he was trying to, and he's walking around Ferguson with these riots, and he was being like, "Yo, yo, my brother, yo, yo, yo," talking to like the people around him, and he was, and like he was like being like, "Yo, peace, God, peace be with you, thank you all for caring," and like all this shit, like just really horrible, try hard, like obvious. And I thought he, was, I thought the guy was white until I realized that. You know, the name of the guy that was doing the stream, I completely thought this was like a really just a white, try hard, obviously swipple guy. But uh, so we've been watching his feed. He was involved, I guess. He got tear gas thrown at him. And he kept saying things like, if the cops don't want rocks thrown at them, they should leave. (laughs) And I was like, wait, really? Like, really? That really? The police have to retreat under like rock throwing first of all <laughs> that's not gonna happen they're going to respond to you throwing rocks at them i'm sorry <laughs> and uh the, the the funniest thing happened though when i guess after i stopped watching it he's you know walking around with his i guess he was streaming on his iphone 6 brand new iphone 6 well so he's walking around holding the iphone out in his hand <laughs> to film and boom guess what happened a dindu comes up from his blind spot and snatches that shit and it's so funny when you're watching when you watch the video it's like you're just walking walking and then you you see all of a sudden the the picture you know goes down and it's now it's filming like the ground or the side of the street upside down (laughs) (laughs) and he's like oh 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 but you hear his voice like fade (laughs) and then you hear like heavy heavy breathing breathing, and you see like upside down houses going up and down (laughs) on the side so it's like you know the guy is like running (laughs) running with it and then he comes to a stop and you hear him breathing and someone comes up on like yo what you got (laughs) he's like six <laughs> and, it's like, and the best is that without knowing that this footage existed, without knowing that the stream kept going, Masri goes on Twitter That's so and he's great. like, "It was the police." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, I police, bet the police did police this. Provocateur did oh, this. Man. And it's like, oh, dude. It's like, see, moments like these are when the liberal tinfoil hats really come out. Oh, when the, every when everything yeah. that could possibly paint blacks in a negative light is instantly white police officers. Officers are instigating it because there's no other explanation, obviously. Exactly. I mean, I heard people yesterday, well, not heard, I saw them on the internet, but, you know, saying like the Tea Party is responsible for this or the cops are setting all the fires. It's just like these people have no <laughs> concept of any kind of responsibility for themselves. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. So another, another one of the funny it, live streamers that we were watching was like this woman who was, I think her, her Twitter handle, I mean, her, her Twitter handle was like Miss Jupiter. 1957 that okay. was the twitter handle and we were listening for a while and as soon as you turn turn her feet on it's obvious this is like a middle class white woman right it turned out she's <laughs> jewish because she was saying like oy vey and stuff during, <laughs> her, down. during her live stream and so it's really <laughs> obvious right away okay we got like a middle class white woman here and she's she's talking and stuff and like i remember i switched hers on and the first thing i noticed is like a bunch of blacks were running by her, and they kept being like, "Yo, yo, you up by the stop and save? You up by the stop and save?" And I was like, mm-hmm. "And then like, and she was like first on the scene when the Walgreens got looted and like started yeah, coming up. on fire." <laughs> yeah, and it's sort of funny. Watch it was what was interesting watching her be right there to witness like really bad behavior, and then and then get like give her gave her mind like a few minutes to churn it through, and she started making excuses like right away at first. Yeah, I, I, one of the I actually almost fell off my couch 
when she was standing there and two blacks literally ran by her with a huge flat screen TV. <laughs> and it was flat screen. You only got a flat screen. And like I was like, and she was like, guys, no, no, that's not good. No, that's not gonna help. that's not gonna help anything. I really, I really wish you wouldn't do that. And then like another runs by her and he's like, oh, this is the best day of my life. No, 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 don't say that. That looks bad. That, that looks, looks bad. bad. And then she was like, oh, if anyone in the fire department is watching this, there's a fire inside the wall. There's a fire. She's like, why are they setting on a fire? What are they doing? Why are they doing that? And then like a couple minutes why later. Why are they doing that? A couple minutes later, they yeah. calm down a bit. And she's there like, you know, I bet the police set these fires. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that's, how, no, no, no. She, no, she goes, how do we know the police didn't do this? Oh, that's what she like, said. I don't know. How do we know that the incrimination fairy didn't swoop down and light it on fire? <laughs> I heard that uh, in, it was basically like American History X come to life. Like the, the fire department couldn't respond to these fires because they were shooting at them. Yeah, <laughs> they actually, police, there was not enough police. Never shoot it, firemen! Despite the fact that, like, the police couldn't, there weren't even enough police on duty to, like, secure, because in that situation, the police go to secure it first because they have weapons and firemen don't, and right. then the fire department can come in. Right. They couldn't do that, and so, like, the, they finally just stopped. They finally <laughs> just stopped. And, yeah, and police were taking fire, like, all night. And they were actually retreating in some cases. I mean, it was it was a fucking. Yeah, it didn't them, spread let that the, far, let but it was, itself out. Yo, the the National Guard got to Ferguson faster and got to New Orleans after Katrina. Y'all, what's up with that shit? <sighs> <laughs> what's up with your dumping? I don't. Yeah, what's up with you guys burning down? <laughs> Can you and talk is, about, it was the funniest thing ever that the first thing that they looted was the Boost Mobile store. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> yeah, like a bunch of burners. <laughs> but you, you know, you, like, if they even got all the valuables out of these stores, because we were actually, as we watched the Walgreens burn, we were like, yo, I would go into the pharmacy department and get, like, all of the shit that's valuable on the street. And they probably yeah. didn't have the intelligence to think that far ahead. <laughs> that, like, if you actually went in there and got all, like, the they definitely Adderall, you could actually make thousands and thousands of dollars. But, <laughs> but they just set it on I, fire I instead. 